we have been very busy the last couple of months. We're doing some traveling. But today, I wanted to show you a couple of my favorite things to photograph, which is trains and bridges. At the end of this film, I'll show you some of my favorite bridges that I photographed. And some of them I've, I photographed while we were driving. And the best way to get a nice clear shot doing that is make sure you have a fast shutter speed. But to start with, I'm going to show you some of the trains that I photographed. Some of the locomotives. Photoshop is a wonderful tool to let your imagination create just about any kind of photography art that you can think of. Now I don't get into doing tutorials because there's so many good ones already out there on YouTube and that's pretty much where I learn how to do what my imagination comes up with. See I look at this photo and first thing I think of is what if the train is going really really fast so that you have motion blur. So I did this in Photoshop and then I just added a little fun animation to go with it. Now these are all photos that I've taken and I don't have the equipment to make you know really good animation like the professionals do but it just kind of adds a little something different. Alright, so I took this photo last winter, and as you can see, the sky is just blah, it was snowing. And then I was looking at some of my sunset photos. So I thought, hmm, I wonder if I could combine the two. So I'm going to take this one and make a composite photo by adding my own sunset, and this is the result. So for me, photography is more than just taking a photo sometimes. Use your imagination and combine two of your own photos together. There's a lot of tutorials that teach you how to do it. And now, here are some of my favorite bridge photos. There are many bridges that we cross in our lifetime, but I like to think of each one as a gateway to a new adventure. I want to thank you for watching today, and as always, I hope to see you next time on Adventures Outdoors.